this is Pooja Snaya. Today we are going to proceed with our fourth exercise. The aim of our fourth exercise is to use the given data set in order to build a Bayesian network classification model. To proceed with we have a iris data set from the samples list and we need a validation operator, cross validation operator. In the validation, we have two parts, training as well as testing part. In the training part, I use the naive base operator. And in the testing part, I use the apply model. As well as the performance operator. I do the required connections. So, uh, what is this naive based classifier? Is if we want to classify an instance, so we don't consider the attributes of all the instances together. It's that we consider each and every attribute's probability contribution separately in order to classify an instance. Here we, in Navebase operator, we have a parameter called Laplace connection. It can be ticked or unticked. This Laplace correction or parameter is used in order to minimize the high influence of zero probabilities in the rows. And going back to the process, we do the needed connections. And we run it. Here in the result part we have three results that is the performance vector, the example set. In the example set we have the data set, iris data set and simple distribution. It says that the iris data set is classified into three classes, iris setosa, iris versicolor and iris virginica. And in the performance vector, we have a table view that is, uh, we have the accuracy given that is 95.33%, which is really very good. And uh, the error values, moreover, is zero. And the class precision is 100% for Iris Setosa, 92 for Versicola, 93 for Virginica. And this accuracy, 95.33%, is really good. Says that this model is accurate one. So here in this uh, exercise, in this fourth exercise of Bayesian network classification, what we did it, we dropped down the, dragged the uh, iris data set as well as we used the validation operator. We did the needed connections and we got the output, the accuracy level. So uh, a simple example is that if we have a fruit, in order to classify a fruit apple, we look for the futures, whether it is red, round and have a uh, diameter of 4 inches etc. So these uh, attributes depend upon the presence or absence of each other. But in Bayesian classifier what it does is it takes each of the attributes separately, calculates the probability separately and checks its contribution in order to classify the fruit as apple. So this was a simple example and to understand this algorithm. This was a fourth exercise. I hope this video was useful to you. Thank you.